I want to get serious for a second, okay? Okay. And that is because the recent news that has come out is that Wendy Williams, mm. right, has um, we we've known for a while that she's kind of had some health issues, um, but it's been confirmed by whoever is in her camp that she definitely is um battling dementia at this point Mm -hmm. um it's sad to see recently there was a video because you know that they are working on or not working on they have a they have planned for a documentary to be released um i think next weekend i think um maybe this weekend i think it's this weekend oh goodness so they have a documentary uh following the life of wendy apparently the story goes is that wendy wanted to do this um, when she was in a more sound mind, but also that this was a part of a deal that she had already had with Lifetime. So she had already gotten paid to do this. And you know, she had a three picture thing. So she had that movie that they did. And then I think there was, there was something else I can't remember. I can't remember. And then this would be the third uh, thing that she did to fulfill that contract with the Lifetime. Yeah. Um, but it's sad to see. So there was a, clip that came out where uh black china aka what's black china's name angela white we're gonna put some respect on her name we are black china formerly known as black china currently known always gonna be known as black china (laughs) i'm sorry i'm gonna pay too many bills for her for her not to be one bad black china okay right i'm just saying well anyways recently um Black China, aka Angela White, aka uh Tokyo Tony's daughter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> she right. um so, uh, apparently she's a part of this project, or there's a scene where she goes to meet with Wendy, and we get mm-hmm. to see Wendy in a state that we've never seen her in before. Uh, this is Wendy Williams not glammed up without a wig. I don't know. Um, there was something else that they diagnosed her with as well. But it it affects the brain in a way where you can't, um, your cognitive um, functions, right? So you can't really like carry out a conversation in the way that you want to, or, Mm -hmm. you know, so I don't know. It's it's sad to see, but I'm going to play a little bit of it. I don't know if I'll play the whole thing. Um, And we'll see. uh, We'll we'll just get into it a bit more. But I got this clip real quick. Yeah, it's like genuine and it's always yeah. gonna be there, you know, and I'm always be here for you, like straight up. You could call my phone whenever. I'm so serious. And I think I'm gonna be back and forth from New York, so I'm gonna be coming to see you more. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Hunter. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm divorced. Yes. I'm gonna have to stop right there. Okay. Yeah, let's stop um, there. I, yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, <laughs> and I saw this go around. Um, of course, it was on X, formerly known as, say everybody's formerly known as something, right? Formerly mm-hmm. known as Twitter. Um, yeah. Somebody posted, they said, you know how foul a nigga gotta be for you to <laughs> be battling dementia and remember that he's broke. <laughs> that he. I was like, yo, y'all are wild, bro. Y'all are so it's wild true. for that. Like, <laughs> um, but but in all seriousness, like we, we know Wendy was a um a starter, right? Or a shit stirrer, a pot stirrer. Yeah. A pot she, stirrer. she kept things going. But you kind of always had a she she was never unlikable. If, if that makes sense, like you kind of even even when you didn't pay attention to the show itself, when she was, you know, doing the talk show, mm-hmm. the clips still found their way to you, you know, 100 <laughs> percent always that happened to I, you, I, too. I don't even think I ever really have seen like an ent- an episode in its entirety. I always would see the clips. <laughs> they kept they kept a YouTube going. They did. They really did. Wendy was. When I think of Wendy, she's like the auntie that like we love her because she's our auntie. Mm-hmm. But like 
She gets on her nerves. She always saying something foul. She always talking out of pocket. But, she but that's rich. your auntie. But she got money. She rich. She always got a wig on and a fur. She's annoying, but that's your auntie. And if she's not at the function, y'all like, okay, where's Aunt Wendy? Why is she not at the function? You know what I'm saying? Like she's she's always you expect, been that. You expect her to be a a, a presence overall. Always. And it's like you love her and hate her at the same time, but she's that auntie and she's like, especially for our generation, see, she's been like a figure and a fixture. I just want to say for so long. I've never seen Wendy without hair and makeup. Never. Ever. Never. And that's what let me know. I was like, oh, this is this is serious. It also makes you think back. You remember the Halloween episode? Oh yeah. When she passed that's out and it was like, what happened? It makes you wonder what was happening in her brain that was like in I don't even know why I made that noise. I don't either. That was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but it just makes you wonder, you know, kind of what was going on because obviously there are some things that were taking effect. It's, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just really sad to see. Um, but there have been some controversies surrounding because a lot of people are like, okay, I think I need to put the brakes on this, um, this documentary that Lifetime yeah. is going to be aired, two part documentary, Saturday and yeah. Sunday. Mm-hmm. And um, the family, namely her niece, uh, went on to The View and she had some comments to say about the documentary and that the family does indeed want this to happen in respect to uh, Wendy's wishes. I have a clip here. Let's check it out and then we'll chat a bit more. Um, so, camera crew started filming Wendy in 2022. Uh, to follow her comeback with a new podcast. Mm -hmm. But they say they quickly realized something else was going on. I could see that also in the series. Um, Wendy seemed confused. She seemed disoriented. She was drinking a lot, heavily. And her mental and physical health seems to be very concerning, right? Um, She chose to do the series. She insisted on doing the series. Um, Why... Do you think she wants people to see her in that state? Does she realize what it looks like, you think? Yeah, and you know, it's, it's, it's complicated and it's so layered because I know you and I have had conversations and, you know, it was hard at first as a family member to grasp, oh, Wendy, why do you want to do this? You know, you have clearly some health issues that still need to be addressed, yeah. a long road ahead of you. Um, and she was adamant that she wanted to control the narrative of her story. I mean, listen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listening. I would have to pull the plug myself. I'd be like, uh, yeah, this we can't do this. Like, no, no, no. Like, no. Come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It just, I know that they're saying it's not exploitation because she wanted to do it. But like. But that was when she was in her. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. She was in a different mind state at the time that she agreed to do this. So now with her being where she is and how she is now, I don't I don't know that the Wendy that we all know, you know, know, yeah. um, would have wanted this. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's to see, to know who she is and all the stuff that she's done and to become like a, you know, media mogul. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then to this, you know, and her husband, Pisa. Anyhow, uh, let's switch gears because we don't want to stay yeah. there for too long. Moving along, moving yeah. along. 